day approach. He's uh, he's been a huge part of the the internal growth that we see day in and day out. When it comes to tonight's game, the way that Calgary plays and and crashes in front of the net, what kind of challenge is that for them? Well, I mean, the team we're playing against tonight doesn't give up very much. You look statistically and and you know to the eye, they don't give up much. They're they're hard to play against defensively, and right now they're you know they're scoring at a high clip, so um, they're they're hard to handle. Um, in, you know, on the inside, whether that's coming in off of entry or whether that's, you know, in uh, in our own D zone coverage, um, the the critical area uh, in the slot and the you know in the net front um, is th those are areas that we've got to be hard and uh, we're gonna have to be very determined. How do you create some of those second chance opportunities given how little they give up? Well, you have to get a you got to get you got to get the puck inside and then. Um, you know, you really, again, uh, that end of the rink, you're going to have to have great determination getting to the inside and, uh, and finding, uh, you know, finding that, uh, that ice, number one, uh, in front of their goaltender, uh, and then finding and fighting for, uh, for second opportunities. And then just their overall depth. I mean, the, whether it's line depth or, or both sides of the ice, I would imagine that's a tough thing. To hey, every, team's pretty, every team's pretty good, and these guys are obviously uh, – you know, they're, everybody's fighting for something, and, and, you know, they certainly are. Their depth is good. Um, you know, we, we believe in our depth as well, and we believe in our ability to go out and compete uh, and, and play with anybody. Understanding this is a, you know, better question for post-game. Everyone in this building is going to stand up during that pre-game salute to Giordano tonight. What do, what do you expect that moment to, to be like? Well, I'm sure it'll be a pretty special and emotional moment. Um, and... Uh, you know, again, you got to live through the moment, I guess, to, to really be able to speak to it. Um, but, uh, um, you know, any recognition, I'll, I'll understate this, any recognition that comes his way, um, you know, is, is so well earned and deserved uh, as, as both an athlete uh, and, and as a human being. He does this every night in the sense of it's always someone mm -hmm. playing their old team. Does it wear yeah. off at all? Like, does it ever... I, you know, no, I don't think it wears off. I believe it's something that, that uh, um, you know, we should feel is important, um, you know, on, on, you know, on basically on every night on the road, uh, one or, you know, one or more uh, of our teammates uh, are going through certain emotions. Um, some are, you know, probably stronger uh, in terms, uh, you know, of, of ties uh, and, and things of that nature than others. But every single night, somebody is going through those emotions, and that's something uh, you know that we pay attention to. Let me just ask you one more: Where do you see Daryl Sutter's impact on on this Flames team right now? Well, this I mean, this is a this is a hard team to play against. Um, you know, you don't need to spend a lot of time pre scouting. Um, you know, this team they you know they they have certain standards. Um, they they live to those standards, and and you know they they appear to be playing to those standards on a regular basis. Just in terms of housekeeping, any lineup changes or anything for tonight? Yep. Yeah, uh, Zarnick will go in. Uh, Morgan Geeky will come out tonight. Uh, Hayden Fleury will go in. Uh, and Seuss will come out tonight. Gruber. Groovy. Great. Thank you.